this is exactly what we want to come back to let's go it is friday morning you have just seen me start the video off with a few power cleans power cleans off a block uh, actually a really good workout my client i am nursing a niggle in my back i'm actually gonna go see zigs after this and might show you some highlights that video popped off by the way so shout out if you watch that um it's not an injury it's just a niggle so we kept it light i think i worked well 190 for a double at the top just had to just show the client who's the real bosses anyway we come home to my great delivery my brain that's a lie it's a muscle food delivery haven't ordered from these guys for forever with christmas being around the corner trying to be a bit more sensible through the week i say to my clients and i say to you guys uh try and i try and make one good decision every single day whether that be don't go out for a pint we don't have pints last night but still don't go ch change your drink choice whether that be don't eat that donut whether that be eat one donut don't eat the whole box of four like try and tell my clients to make one sensible choice a day and that's just going to help from day to day life which will help improve and that will compound up and build up so that's what I'm doing. Also, when we get in from classes at like 8, 8.30, it's so hard to then make a meal. If I haven't prepped a meal, so we've got some prep pots and some pizzas. Nothing crazy, but let's show you. Like I say, it's been a minute. Three muscle food meat, meat feast pizzas. Haven't I? Don't think I've ever had one of these. Maybe I have. 389 cows, 15 fat. Why does it say protein then? That's what everyone cares about, protein. 33 grams protein. Not too bad three of them all the same flavor and then this is what me and beth really really wanted prep pots she got some brandy flavors my favorite is this thai green curry i hope they haven't changed that that's banging um lots of those what else we get sweet chili that's another another solid one so yeah 10 prep pots i think these work out three good a pot so that's pretty decent like i say come in have this with a salad. These are so low cal as well, 336. So an easy way to just be sensible and make good choices. Good morning. No, not quite. 12 past 12. Back at CrossFit Ferrum. It's been a minute. And I, I know it's been a minute because your 10 card lasts three months. I've got three weeks left on my 10 card and I still got five sessions. So that means I've been really slacking at CrossFit. To be fair, had that injury, that tweak, that niggle in my back for the last couple of weeks. I haven't come and done any sort of functional fitness slash CrossFit sessions. Uh, saw Ziggy on Friday. He just he did really really help it out, and it feels a lot a lot a lot better. Uh, rest of the weekend, so we're back in on Monday. Looks like a great workout. Three rep max power snatch. Ten minutes to find a heavy three, which I'm quite excited to do. Having said that, snatch is what actually made me tweak my back. So I will be a bit cautious, but yeah, it's cold today. Can't really get warmed up can't really get in the groove we're gonna pop one of these bad boys get in there and smash it out okay we are gonna do something a little bit different over this crossfit footage we're gonna try and analyze the techers analyze performance through the strength car and through the conditioning part just to give you an insight about what i'm thinking what i'm doing why i'm doing it um and i'm how i'm trying not to die so you saw a set of 50 there just warming up coach sam said get a set that you know you can do get a set that you will find a bit tough and then maybe try and push it so 57 and a half was my first sort of working set then we went up to 65 so if you look here and you could see it on the other set maybe even a little bit better what i'm doing is i'm getting in a nice initial position but as i'm taking that weight from the floor off the back my legs spike up which means i'm not using that much leg drive which is which is not good i need to use a little bit more legs Keep that chest up and just fire through those legs. It's going to help out. You see this set of 70 here. Hit the first rep. Actually get under it okay speed-wise, but still not using enough legs. Sam told me her coaching point, and I think that was in my head by this point. So, yeah, I was a bit put off. Couldn't get under the second. And then third is even worse. Another thing that I've been doing a lot when I've been training by myself is training off blocks. So I think going back to the floor, I found a massive difference you see me choke this rep. Really, really then enjoyed this conditioning piece. You see that workout is coming out soon. 963, power snatch and box jump overs. 30 inch box, so nice and high. Uh, I actually dropped the weight to 50, just thought I'm not gonna push it. My back was having that little niggle. So this is the only one that I didn't do RX. And you can even see here, I know I've sped up the footage, but my hips are still quite high. I still don't use too much legs. 
decided to go for singles on the power snatch, and I think I was one of the only ones to do that, which meant I had loads in the tank for these burpee box jump overs. Box jumps is one of my favorite things. You saw me do a high box jump in one of the last videos. So nine and nine, straight back to the bar for six and six. By this point, I decided to group up two sets of three, which felt quite comfortable. With the burpees over the box, it was all about just setting a pace and trying to be able to go back into that barbell pretty swiftly after the, after the jumps. I didn't want to rest for too long. So rest at the top there, which is quite silly. Uh, but hit my three in, as a triple, straight off to the bar, and I always wanted to be able to go into the box, set a rhythm, jump, trying to stay as low as possible on this box as I'm jumping up. Um, up, two, and three. Time for the first workout was 3.21, which meant then I could rest for the remaining time until the time I hit 10, and then we went up. The reps went up to 12.96. Once again, power snatch, 42, and box jump overs uh, at a little bit less height, so we ditched the burpee. You see I opted for tap and go here. I can't remember. What did I do? Let's see. Did I do two sets of six? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, two sets of six, jump overs. Now, if you see me again, this is 24, so it's an easy height to jump on, but I'm just trying to step in a rib, uh, keep in a rhythm, jump, step, step, jump, step, step. I don't want to waste too much time, and I don't want to be moving my feet. I want a second that last foot drops down straight back into the next jump. I need to just keep, get a little bit lower to the box. But apart from that, once again, it was all about setting a pace on these. Finish them, over to the barbell, have a breath, down to the set of nine. I think at this point, I always try to break every set into two. So that was a five and a four. Set my rhythm here. Did I do a six? One, two, three. Nope, two threes. So set and pace, not going crazy. Oh yeah, I did start to blow up by this point. Three tap and go. See that lady behind me, she flew through. She was really, really super fast on the box. And I was actually trying to pace off her a little bit. So another thing you could do guys is just Look at who's around you, set, pe set people as your markers, try and keep up with them, maintain a similar speed. Finish that jump, and that was the quickest one, 3.09, which meant basically seven minutes of rest, which was really, really nice, into the final workout, which was tough. Uh, the reps went up again at 15.12.9, power snatch at 35, and bar face and burpees. Now, so both of these last two workouts I did RX, just the first one I didn't. But you can see again here, using a lot of back and not a lot of legs. When the weight is super light, you'll, you'll tend, to, tend to do that, but it's not ideal. Actually, I sort of found the rhythm in, set, in round two or three. Uh, what did I do 18 here? Did I do it? I think I did a 10 and an eight. Can't remember. But always try to keep everything to two sets, not any more than that. Oh, that would have been a little no rep. Kept my chest too high there. Uh, but you can see here, watching these back, these are too slow. So I jump. Step, step, into my burpee, come up, step, step, jump. Needs to be faster, there should only really be one step. What I am trying to do is keep a rhythm here, but it's, a, it's quite slow, that rhythm wasn't very good. I could take away a step and that would speed up a lot. Uh, once again, we tried to go two sets on the snatch and then get into the burpees over. Proper good work at this. I'm actually gonna try and use it with some clients, but there was a lot on the lower back, a lot on CNS considering I was just coming back from a niggle, but felt all right, here you go, you see me, final set, so we go for a send, last set of nine, tap and go. The form looks okay here, but you can see that those hips are still quite high and I'm just using my back. Up and down we go, and the last set of burpees, did almost stack on the set of burpees, I think. By this point, you are super tired. But yeah, all in all, a fantastic workout. Bit annoyed about the 70 but i know that'll, that'll come for a free just a little bit of technique base really really happy with how my bar does move in a workout oh there's there's the trip but when we go for singles and a bit more strength stuff technique will play a, mo a much higher part and, and that's what i need to work on but all in all good workout hope you've enjoyed me sort of voicing over analyzing my 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 workout if you want me to do more let me know below and if you're enjoying this video smash the thumbs up button because I'm still like Oh, wow.
miss that feeling. You know, like the iron in the mouth. Gummy, horrible feeling. We sent that today. Failed a 70. Um, free rep max power clean. Just wasn't moving very well. Um, Coach Sam did help me with a little bit of form. I think I was just trying to rush it a little bit. But 65, but that was shit too, to be fair. Enjoyed the wad. Managed to do it all RX apart from the first round. But good workout, 194 max heart rate. And I felt slow on the conditioning. Got a bit chunky, I think. Back to body yield and tomorrow my back is gonna feel that, but a very, very good start workout to start the week nonetheless. Go home. Actually, I can't go home, we'll go, go to a meeting. Then get some grub. We'll just check in when we check in. Okay team, your boy's got some serious doms after that crossfit workout. My biceps for an agony lower back. Need to rest day today. About to tuck into a um, poverty protein bar. These are actually okay and the macros aren't terrible either. But what we've pulled the clip up for is a, oh, did you see my dress? Hopefully not, maybe I've blown it up. We've got an ASOS delivery. We actually have, you can see that down there. That's a big boohoo delivery. We're gonna do that in a full separate video for the tubes as the next video. Uh, but we're prepping for New York, we're to New York in two weeks tomorrow. So we're just trying to get some outfits together. I never really do this, but I think it's probably a bit smarter to go there and have outfits planned because I also want to buy clothes out there and I don't have loads of excess clothing. So we're trying to plan some outfits so we know what we're going to wear and this is going to be travel outfit. Beth got me the um, Swift tracksuit and like I said in the last video, I really, really love the jumpers and the crews but the trackies don't fit great and I don't really like them that much. So I bought a different one to see how we get on. So I tell you what, let's just uh, bang it on and see where we go. Okay, so we went for a New Balance tracksuit. Not gonna lie, I've never owned a New Balance tracksuit before. And we want something comfortable, something fairly cool and it's easy to travel in. I was gonna get something like an Essentials tracksuit or something like that, but they're just so expensive. Represent is another brand that I really, really like at the minute, but so overpriced. This uh, New Balance tracksuit is this oatmeal colour. I'll pop up a full like outfit look there. Um, and I think the outfit itself was like 80 quid. Then I had 25% off on ASOS, so got a really good price on it. Medium in the trackies, large in the jumper. I could probably even go a little bit size down in the trackies, but they're very comfortable. And I'm liking this fit. And then also in New York, this hoodie will look cool under a gilet or something like that. So it's a vibe, we're gonna keep it. Right, tuck into the property protein bar, go for a meet of our big things coming with you know what. This is how simple it is Friday mornings. Morning, how are you? You alright? Thank you so much. Cheers, have a good day. And we secure the bag that quickly. Click and collect. Friday morning. What a beautiful morning it was, by the way. We had the boot camp. Gee, I couldn't even overlay a bit of clip. 6.30 start. And our sessions. But we just picked up decent coffee. Right team, public service announcement. First of all, those muscle food pizzas earlier in the video do not really bang. They're probably about a five out of ten. There's a funny, funny taste to them. I'd rather just do uh, protein pizzas on a tortilla base, make them myself. They're way, way better. Also, what am I doing? Rounding up the video. That's what I'm doing. You're off. I'm We're actually. You're in the roundup. So I'm not part of the yeah, you're not part. Well, you will be the next one. No, we've got a boohoo video coming next week. Nice. Then it's New York. Hopefully. That'll be a banger. You're probably going to be in that one. Um, we're off to go and get a new iPhone. Well, we're going to try and get a new iPhone. If we get a new iPhone for New York, I'll probably only film on that because they're just, they're just really fucking just good, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. So much easier to put out a phone camera. And if you don't really know, I mean, I'm a low-level YouTuber, so I don't really need this high-production shit. 
Right, anyway, before we run out of the video, we have a new protein bar from Audi that we need to review. No, I'd like you to film me. Look, look, Beth's panicking now because it's broke here. Watch, ready? About five seconds, he's going to walk past. And Beth's really panicking. Oh, yeah, there's your panicking face. Three, two, one, and there he is. Oh, look, and there's another couple. All right, we're not going to sit on the bench. We can just walk and do it. 20 grams of protein, 7.9 fat. We're coming on the high end, salted caramel. We normally have their birthday cake. Haven't been able to try peanut because Rossa. What are these, Aldi? Good? No. Bad? Not bad. <laughs> Low level bar. Average. Pretty chewy. Six out of ten. Right. Sorry. She cut me off. Sorry. Well, it's going to say is make sure you like the video, smash the subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.